Good morning, everyone. Dutchman Mines and Repairs. Got a quick video here on the ongoing project. Actually, the ongoing. I just finished it up. It's the evaporator coil that I just replaced up in our attic that had a leak in it. Just finished getting that system back up and running good. But I just wanted to talk about, there's a couple things I'm going to run by. The first one for this video is going to be talking about a piston type of metering for your refrigerant that's in the system. Mine's an R22 system and what you're looking at on the right hand side here is the actual piston. On the left hand side is the actual liquid line or a portion of the liquid line and the connector that goes into the evap. So if you can imagine the evaporator coil connection would be over here. This piston would actually slide into a, a little slot that it's kind of fit for. And these can be different sizes as far as like design wise goes, depending upon what kind of unit's gonna go in, uh, whether it's a Goodman or a train or a carrier or what have you. Uh, this is a train one from 2004. The orifice that I just put in for my Goodman evap uh, is much larger on the OD side, the design is much much larger but just things to keep in mind as you're looking at things and there's a little little gasket that kind of sits uh, in the connection over here that this pu this pushes up against and then your of course your your liquid flows in here through the orifice and then you get the low pressure side of the orifice that gives you your cooling effect uh, in, in the evaporator coil but when you're looking at this i'm going to try and zoom in there's there's something that you need to know you could see some some writing on there this is so small it's hard to do looking through the camera but if you see on there you see that 71 your HVAC technician may refer to it as a 71 or a 76 or whatever the size is of the orifice and that is the size of you know basically the okay, the, the ID there that that's going through and usually that orifice size is dependent upon uh, the tonnage rating of the system. Uh, mine's a three ton system and the 71 is on the ideal range uh, orifice and it can go all the way up to I think 76 is the upper side for a three ton system. But regardless, that's the number you'd be looking at. So if someone's uh, talking about a, a 71, 76, for your system, that's what would go back in if they were replacing this. And it's actually a .071, but, but they just, they just, stamp a 71 on there. So that's just information to go on so you know when you're having someone either work on your system or by chance you happen to be working on your system, you know what to be looking for and kind of understand the lingo that's being used and the parts that are being used to fix the system. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Join us as we continue to work on things around the house, in the driveway, and everywhere in between. Thank you very much for watching. Dutch out.